Now we've got Natasha Alam. Yes. Did I pronounce it? Yes, Natasha Alam. How easy is that, Shorty Brown? Come on. Natasha is here. And what's this? No, I mean, um, <laughs> I think he's waiting for the carpet. Um, oh, oh, oh. We no, just did you know, a movie together. He directed a movie that I just did. Oh, what did you just do? Uh, it's called Werewolves. It's going to um, come out, premiere on uh, Sci Fi Channel. Oh, wow. Now, do you like doing sci fi or did you like doing anything above? Is there any particular? You know, it was the first time I did something like that and it was great. It was awesome. There's a lot of makeup involved and because um, I was playing werewolf and, uh, and it starts in Iraq during the war. We all got bitten and. There you go. Wow. So, do you die in the film? I'm not allowed to say, am I? I I'm not. Because no, I'm, I'm <laughs> playing his right. love interest. Because he's playing the lead as well. No, no. You were heavily involved in modelling. So, how has this turnaround been from modelling into the acting world? Well, I'm actually not any more involved in modelling as much because acting totally took over. And um, just uh, doing movie after movie, there's no space, no time for modeling. Except I'm doing a lot of magazines, but they're mostly like uh, articles. And, and so with the acting world, you know, with the accent, do you have to like get a hold of the American accent for your roles? Sometimes you do, it depends on the role. Um, like I played an American in uh, World War. So yeah, that, that was a little bit uh, challenging because you have to constantly watch your accent. Yeah. You know, if something slips out, you have to fix it. Yeah. So. Now, I'm um, also, because I mean, we're all independent filmmakers out there, you know. Yeah. What's some advice that you can like give to independent filmmakers? You know, they're step, they're, they're, they're all on their first step and, you know, they're, they're struggling. What advice can you give? I, I say just don't give up. That's the best one. Just even if it's tough and, and nothing seems to going right, just uh, hang on a second, listen to your heart, and some amazing uh, uh, idea will come to your head and lead you the right way. So don't give up. Don't give up, people. Don't give up. So now we're here to see an amazing documentary. What are we here to see, Natasha? Oh, wow. This is amazing. This is um, the, probably the last interview of Stalin's daughter because she totally refused to give interviews to anybody. And uh, Lana was the only one who totally convinced her to, um, to give the interview. So this is amazing. This is history. And... Um, Great stories that never been told. True stories about Stalin, the Russian dictator. So this is really exciting. I mean, it does feel like an exciting moment here uh, today here at Lamel. Yay! So it's it's now it's pronounced Svalana about Svalana. That's right, Svetlana about Svetlana. <laughs> you say it so much more charming than I do. <laughs> anyway, everybody, Natasha Lana, okay, thank you very much. Yeah, but have a day.